and I think there's there's a number of themes that come across out of all of these you know various documentaries and stories about these uh, these people's lives. And one thing that really struck for me, mate, is they've all they've all created this own their own essence, you know. And this essence has been created off the back of toiling and toiling where eventually you're playing so far in the depths of your knowledge and expertise that you start to – I actually wonder, they probably start to get bored playing around in, in the same space. So they start to experiment and start to push things and change things and try and uh, – try and see what they can play with to start to release some of that internal essence, if you will. And so this is where you start to see them, you know, releasing from the shackles of convention like Davis did, you know, like Dylan did, like any of these guys did. And, you know, trending towards that authentic vision that they're striving for. It's almost like that vision actually gets louder and louder the more that they go on. So they need to keep chasing it more and more. Yeah, it's really interesting. I think the word essence is a really interesting word that you've used and kind of captures that idea. I think um, the thing that interests me about these kind of people is the way that they use, you know, they sort of, they're incredibly creative and that sort of plays with their, into their identity and off their identity. And they have that self-creation kind of aspect to them that I find really interesting to explore as well. It's quite unique. They definitely don't fall into that mimetic pattern of copying others, at least not for too long. They start. They all start that way because if you want to be, I think something we've learned from doing this podcast is creative people learn from the past first to find the edge. Um, And, you know, there's another two examples here. Miles at Juilliard going through a very traditional type of uh, education in music and uh, Coltrane doing a longer apprenticeship under the likes of um, Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker and Miles Davis himself uh, and Thelonious Monk. So he took that long path and only after about 15 years 10 to 15 years of playing and and tutoring did he start to hit his height of creativity so yeah. you know and it came and that in was the burst. height we saw right? you know that was the height we saw i'm yeah. sure there was greater greater mountains to climb beyond that for him uh, if he if he'd been allowed to so so what is the essence of miles well I think I think where it where it where it starts mate as you said is it starts from that very formal background which then moved into uh, and there's obviously a lot of trauma in his past and I think you actually see a lot of that come out through his music uh, particularly you know so you look at the kind of blue album and it's it's quite, I'm not going to say depressing, but it can be quite sad, quite moving in that sense. But even if you go to the likes of Bitches Brew, which is much faster and much more erratic, it's, it's erratic. It's, it's um, almost aggressive in some ways. Mm. And the, you can feel that kind of trauma coming out of his music. And it's, I really think that, that, that sh- you know, there's, there's something about that that shines through his music. Even, even the songs that don't sound particularly you know, traumatic or particularly sad or anything. So I think that's one thing. Yeah. He says in the, you know, one of his quotes is, if anyone wants to be about creating, they have to be about change. Um, and that's a certainly a constant in his life is change, you know, uh, be it from the people he's with. Um, they seem to be changing every five to ten years, the type of music he's playing, the type of creative, I suppose, uh, you know, music that he's, he's actually playing, uh, the clothes he's wearing, um, all those sort of things are in constant motion and he's, he is about 
as Dylan would say, creating himself um, through yeah. his... And he's, not, and he's not going to be rooted to convention. <laughs> 